Is your body in constant hunger mode? Craving foods that it probably should not be eating or maybe you are eating healthy but you can't seem to lose weight and get lean. Maybe you have trouble focusing for long periods of time affecting your work performance or perhaps you lack the energy throughout the day to work out or even be social with friends and family. If you said yes to any of these questions, it may be time to start taking your circadian rhythm seriously. In this video, I will take you through the basics of circadian rhythms and how that relates to fasting. At the end of this video, I will give you four proven tactics to naturally entrain your rhythms to make fat loss much easier while also feeling more rested and energized than you have in years. First of all, my name is Torbs from Torbs Training and on this channel, I will show you exactly how to eat, fast, train and improve your sleep so you can get lean, feel strong and supercharge your energy for life and work. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out my free circadian rhythm fasting guide on torbstraining.com. Links in the description. Also, if you want to learn more about intermittent fasting for fat loss specifically, I recommend that you watch my intermittent fasting for fat loss video afterwards. Here I will share everything I learned from doing intermittent fasting for one and a half year. So what is a circadian rhythm? A circadian rhythm is a biological cycle that runs for 24 hours every single day. It's also referred to as your body's internal master clock that influences when you wake up, fall asleep, get hungry, and when you feel most energized during the day. Now, before you say I'm not really into this woo-woo pseudoscience, know that this rhythm is so important to your overall health that a 2017 Nobel Prize was awarded to research on this topic. It explained that all living creatures adapt to their biological rhythms to be synchronized with the Earth's revolutions. Simply put, you, me, your dog, your cat, your mom, and every other living thing on this planet has an inner clock that coordinates our daily rhythms. This clock is way more advanced than your latest Garmin. It's a part of your brain. Let me show you. Your circadian rhythms are controlled by a group of nerves in your brain known as the SCN. And to make life easier, let's just call it the master clock. Your master clock is like a signaling center that responds to environmental cues like light, dark, physical activity, and eating habits. And when certain cues are experienced, your body triggers the release of hormones affecting your metabolism, sleep, and even your mood. To get practical, this chart published in the Nobel Prize winning study, I casually name dropped the earlier, shows a typical 24 hour time schedule of your rhythm. This chart can tell us when the best time is to exercise for optimal performance, the best time to do analytical work, when to take a break, when to drink coffee, when to wake up and sleep, etc. And you might already know some of the signs of your daily rhythm. For example, when the sun starts going down, your body starts preparing for sleep by producing the hormone melatonin. And when things are in balance with your inner clock, your body runs just like clockwork. Your body loves being on a schedule. It loves following routines and habits, and especially it loves following its natural rhythm baked into your DNA through evolution. Now, you see, our bodies haven't evolved much since the prehistoric days 20,000 years ago. And through evolution, our bodies have gotten used to a certain rhythm of living life. We wake up when the sun rises, we go to sleep before sunset, we could go a long time between each meal and we were active during the day. The problem is that following your rhythm in today's age is next to impossible. For example, we go to bed later than what your inner clock is tuned into, we overeat processed foods from sunrise to sunset, we avoid physical activity and we're looking at screens for 80% of our waking days until we go to sleep. Now, this is especially true if you are traveling different time zones, so causing a jet lag or working night shifts. When your master clock is thrown out of balance, it leads to a domino effect of physical and mental problems. And if you want to see a disrupted circadian rhythm, all you gotta do is observe new moms and new dads. When they get a new baby, sleep gets disrupted and this has a direct effect on their eating patterns. 
even the most dedicated people can stop exercising, eat more junk food and get the dad bod once you get out of your rhythm. In sum, all of this leads to lower energy, constant weight gain and a vast range of diseases. Now, before this video gets more depressing than the news, let's talk about the benefits of following your rhythm. Luckily, as bad as all this may sound, your life does not have to be in perfect tune with your rhythms. In fact, when you train one part of your life to be in a specific rhythm, you may find that everything eventually falls into place. We can train our circadian rhythms to work for us instead of against us. And that's exactly what Torf's Journey is all about. To help you train yourself to good healthy habits instead of being a victim of the less optimal habits that our modern life often can bring. Now the feedback I get when I train people back into their natural rhythms is that to get much more energy and weight loss feels much less effortful. It's just a matter of a few tweaks over the course of a few weeks and eventually your new habits and rhythms will go on autopilot. Note, we all have slightly different rhythms so you need to find yours and match it to your lifestyle. But here are four general steps to train your rhythm back to normal. So take out a paper or a note app to write out certain key times during the day to create a consistent daily rhythm, also known as habits. And protect these times. Add them to your calendar if needed and after one to two weeks you will start getting into a new rhythm. After eight to twelve weeks you will develop strong habits. So here are the four steps to train your rhythm. Number one, find your sleeping pattern. The most important aspect of training your rhythms starts and ends with getting your sleep patterns fixed. Sleeping is the lead domino affecting all other areas of your life. To help your body sync up with its master clock, you need to regulate wake and sleeping times. Keep your bedtimes within a half an hour of each other, even on weekends, to allow your body to naturally prepare for sleep. Personally, my routine is to start reading a book at 10 p.m. until I fall asleep and wake up at 7 to 7.30, depending on when I fell asleep. So write down your sleep and waking times and stick to them. Tip number two, have an habitual schedule of eating and fasting. When it comes to eating, your body loves to be on a routine as well. Get your body onto a natural schedule of eating that works for your lifestyle. From my experience with clients, I've found that every person has their own natural way of when they like to eat. Once they find their natural eating rhythms, they say it makes it much easier to get lean and stay lean over the long term. Of course, the underlying mechanism of fat loss is always eating fewer calories than you burn, but when you try intermittent fasting, where you only eat within a certain time window, controlling your hunger hormones and staying in a calorie deficit is much less effortful and much more sustainable. Personally, I now eat three meals per day at certain times within an eight hour time window. As a result, I only get hungry at these times. So write down when you would like to eat and stick to that schedule. Also, the better quality of foods you eat, the more efficient your body will work. I recommend eating 80 to 90% of your foods from whole foods, i.e. single ingredients foods. And I have a separate video on that. Now, step number three, get at least three workouts per week. Intense physical activity, whether through cardio or lifting weights, has been shown to entrain your circadian rhythms because of their positive effect on your sleep. So write down when you would like to train and just make sure to avoid nighttime workouts at least three hours prior to bed when possible because they might disrupt your sleeping patterns. Lastly, step number four, get more sun exposure. Sunlight can and should be the trigger that resets your circadian clock daily. It's one of the reasons that I add walking to my morning routine. As a positive side effect, you get a nicer tan. All right, so that's it. To summarize, our circadian rhythms is a 24 hour cycle that influences when you wake up, fall asleep, get hungry, and when you feel most energized during the day, among other processes. Number two, your rhythm responds primarily to light, darkness, eating habits, and physical activity. Number three, not following your circadian rhythms can lead to seriously bad health stuff over time. 
Number four, you can entrain your rhythms to start working for you instead of against you. Make the necessary changes to your lifestyle and start getting back in tune with your natural rhythms. So I hope that helps and uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Also, head over to torpshining.com. I have a link in the description to get a free four-step course to make these into regular habits despite working demanding work hours. I will show you exactly how to train, eat fast, and improve your sleep so you can get lean, feel strong, and supercharge your energy for life and work. So, hope that helps. Talk to you soon. Torps.